Hey y'all, it's Ashley from The Company, and today I'm going to be showing you how to work this special stitch that's featured in our Big Ben socks, which is the featured crochet pattern in our February 2023 Hooked on Socks subscription box, and I am so excited. So today we're going to go over how to work this beautiful stitch that you see here in this baby blue color. Super pretty. So I'm going to show you how to work the stitch. We're also going to go over the math details of where to work these stitches as you work them into your socks. Super fun. I love this. If you are looking for this yarn, crochet pattern, or subscription box, you can find all of it at our store at thelinktoco.com. I'll also link it down below. If you love making socks, if you love working with sock sets of yarn, you're going to love our Hooked on Socks subscription box. Now in this tutorial today, we're just going over this special stitch. So if you need additional help with sock making, check out our Get Hooked on Socks course because I walk you through everything about crocheting socks with like five different tutorials, all different ways of making socks. So today I'm just going to go over this special stitch, but if you need help with the math and measuring to know what size to make, need help with your heel, all of that fun stuff, check out the Get Hooked on Socks course because I go over all these different details and then I show you all these different details with different types of socks and different methods to make socks. So if you have not checked that out yet, uh, check out our Get Hooked on Socks course. I will link it down below as well. All right, so let's dive into our Big Bend National Park socks mini tutorial. First, I wanna go over the details that are written in the pattern. We're gonna go over materials, sizing, pattern key, and notes, and we're gonna go over the math as well of where to work these special stitches. So up first, you're going to need sock weight yarn, which is a weight one. This month, we featured our Big Ben National Park sock set. One sock set is plenty. Depending upon the size you're making, you're gonna need anywhere from 250 to 300 yards. With this combined, you have about 492 yards. So it's more than enough with one sock set of yarn. You're also going to need a crochet hook. This month I featured a G crochet hook, which is a four millimeter or hook to meet gauge. This is a fun, like fun fusion style crochet hook that Eric has made that I used in our tutorial today. Other supplies I always recommend to have is tab machine needles, scissors, measuring tape, and stitch marker. Lots and lots of stitch markers. You can never have too many when making a pair of socks. Now there is a gauge to work up when making these socks and that's 20 stitches in 18 rows equals a four by four square using half double crochets. No matter what you do, check your gauge before you dive in, stitch count is most important. Again, if you need more help with sizing and gauge and all of that fun stuff in going into measurements, for our Hooked on Socks pattern, do check out that Get Hooked on Socks course as well because I go into all of this and the importance and what to look for um, inside that course. Now, sock sizes are measured approximately one inch smaller than your shoe size. Measure your foot before you dive in. It'll tell you which size to follow. And then basically to work up these socks here, that's done with basic stitches. We do have this special stitch, which I'm gonna show you today, but everything else is done with basic crochet stitches. Now there are a few notes to note before diving in. The chain one at the beginning of the rounds will not count as stitches. And then when joining, you're gonna join into the first stitch uh, with a slip stitch and not the chain one at the beginning of the round until you reach the last round of the toe. And then you'll be working in continuous rounds. There's also a note that there is a mini video tutorial, which is this tutorial here. And then there are two special stitches that you work with this. There is the half double crochet two together, which is worked in your heel to create the decrease. And then the extended single crochet, which is this stitch here. We basically work this three times in three different places for three rounds each uh, to work that extended single crochet. So that's what I'm gonna show you in the tutorial. And then before we dive into the tutorial, I want to chat really quick about how to determine the math of where to place these extended single crochets. So basically inside the written pattern, and let me show you this. So inside the written pattern right here, it's basically where you can put in your formula and put in your math in there. So there is a note, you will add the extended single crochet in the center of the foot. To determine the placement, you will need to do a little math. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your foot length, your complete 
foot length. So remember you measure your foot completely before you dive in. So that's including your toe, your foot, and your heel, your complete measurement all the way across. Then you're going to subtract two inches for the heel. And then you're gonna subtract half an inch for the center extended single crochet. Then basically you have your new number. You're gonna take that final measurement and divide it in half. That's how long your toe is going to measure uh, before you add the center. And then it's gonna be that same measurement before you start your heel. So basically just do a little bit of math. Basically we want this in the center. So for me, I had 14 rounds for my toe and my foot before my extended single crochet rounds. And then I had 14 rounds here as well. And then you'll work that, you'll work your heel, you'll work one round to get this back in rounds, then work that extended single crochet again. Then when you go up here to work your ankle, you're going to work the same amount of rounds that you worked here. So I worked 14 here, 14 here, 14 here, and then we finished it with that extended single crochet rounds again. So it's just a little bit of math to kind of get that even placement throughout. Super simple. All you gotta do is just do some measurements, write it down in your pattern, and then that way you'll know as you dive in, you can count your rounds. You don't have to keep getting your foot out and measuring it every time you'll know what math you need to know before diving in. All right, so let's grab our sock sets and our yarn and dive into making the Big Ben socks. I'm gonna show you how to make the extended single crochet stitch. All right, so let's dive into the tutorial on how to work the extended single crochet, which we work here at the cuff, here above the heel, and in the center of our foot, all right? So let's dive in on to how to work the extended single crochet because it creates beautiful texture and is actually really simple to work. All right, so to work our extended single crochet, what we're going to do is we're gonna insert our hook into the next stitch. We're gonna yarn over and pull up a loop. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through one loop to chain and then yarn over and pull through two loops to work a single crochet as normal. So essentially this is very similar to a single crochet, but we're making it taller. So by working that chain one in the beginning of that, you're extending the stitch, you're making it much taller. So let's do that again. You're gonna insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through one loop to work the chain, and then yarn over and pull through two loops to work a single crochet as normal. Okay, let's do that again. Insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop to chain, then yarn over and pull through two loops to work the single crochet. So this creates a much taller stitch. If we just work the single crochet, it's a lot smaller here. So this just kind of brings it up just a little bit more and then also creates a beautiful texture. Single crochet is beautiful on its own, but by working that extended single crochet, we give this a little bit of a different look and I absolutely love it. All right, so let me show you how to work that extended single crochet a few more times. You insert your hook into the stitch, you yarn over and pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through one loop to chain, and then yarn over and pull through two loops to work a single crochet as normal. Insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop to chain, and then yarn over and pull through two loops to work the single crochet. And that's how you work the extended single crochet. So it's just like a single crochet, except you just have that first extra step at the beginning and then complete it as normal. And that's how we work the extended single crochet, which is our beautiful special stitch in our Big Ben socks. I love this. It just creates something extra fun in our socks. And just by adding this beautiful stitch, you get some beautiful, beautiful crochet socks. All right, y'all, so that's how you work this beautiful stitch that's in our Big Ben socks. It is a beautiful stitch to work up. Basically, one little extra step gives you a beautiful stitch beyond a single crochet. Super cute, totally worth it, making these fun socks. Remember, if you're looking for these yarns, the sock set, the crochet pattern, all in the store, just 
search Big Bend, or I have it linked down below. And then if you're not a member of our Hooked on Socks subscription box, come on over and join us. Every month we feature a new sock set. This year we're doing National Parks. So you get a sock set, you get a new sock crochet pattern, you get the printed pattern in your box, and then you also get the stitch marker as well that goes along with the theme. So sock set, stitch marker, because you always need stitch markers to make your crochet socks and a new sock pattern. And then there's a mini tutorial that goes along with it as well to work you through any special stitches or techniques to make the new socks. All right, y'all, thanks so much for coming and hanging out with me as we went over how to work the special stitch in our Big Bend National Park socks. Until next time, grab all your yarns, your crochet hooks, your sock crochet patterns, and get hooked. Bye, guys.